All right, yo, what's up, guys? I'm gonna show you guys this new strategy that a lot of people have been doing. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do it, and I thought you guys would like to know how to do it. So basically, when someone gets the high ground on you like this, you're supposed to place a cone, and that will stop them from getting the high ground, right? A lot of people already know how to do that. But what people have started doing is placing walls around them and trapping them, and then either placing two traps or a uh, bounce pad and a trap. And I found this really useful. I've used it a lot and it saved me a lot of time. Because usually what people will do once they place a cone is get the high ground. But this will just confirm a kill. And you don't really take any damage from it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've seen a lot of people do it. So that's why I made this video. Just in case you know you guys wanted to learn. So now I'm going to show you guys uh, clips of me using this technique. And I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you learned something. And hit that subscribe button for more tips. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bad man. <laughs> so right now I'm explaining to you guys what exactly I did in that clip and why so you guys can understand how to do the strategy better and how I did it. Alright, so right here I had the high ground, but I let him get it from me because I wanted to trap him since the storm was coming. I wasn't trying to have a build battle. I just wanted to get the kill over with, so that's why I decided to trap him. So there you can see he got stuck on my stairs and now he's trying to go back up and this is where I placed the cone. And I, as you can see I waited for him and then I jumped and I placed it. Let's go to his point of view and it's just the gameplay. So he thinks he got the high ground but then he gets stuck on my cone and now he's really confused on what to do. So I placed the trap and then he's going to try to break this wall right here. But that's when I placed the bouncer and it makes him really hard to break anything. So that's why I honestly think placing a bouncer is better and then obviously he dies. messed up I'm gonna redeem myself see if I was just a little bit faster on that trap right there he would have died but all right so once again in this clip the storm was coming so I don't want this to be a long ass build fight so I just wanted to end it with a trap and get over with so I can run into the circle but basically here what happened he starts shooting the cone which is really smart of him you know he got out of the trap pretty easily if I was just a little bit quicker but as you guys saw, I kind of placed the floor here as well, so I tripped over that. But if I just didn't do that and placed the trap right away, then he would have been dead. But just by a millisecond, he gets out. And at that point, I'm like, alright, I'm just going to kill him. So, you know, I go in for the double pump kill, and bam, he's dead. And that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys want any specific tips on something, make sure to let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.